the Red Sox still don't have a manager. Pitchers and catchers report next week. We're still awaiting word on MLB's report about the 2018 sign stealing scandal with the Red Sox. Right. And oh yeah, Mookie Betts trade rumors around all off season. Last night, one of those storylines came to an end. Oh my God, did it ever! It was the Mookie Betts one, one of the biggest deals in the history of Major League Baseball. He and David Price are off to the Dodgers. Boston will also reportedly pay half of Price's remaining contract. He's owed 96 mil. In return, the Red Sox get prospects Alex Verdugo and Bruce Dar Graterall. Graterall is listed as an 83 prospect in terms of Major League Baseball's top 100 prospects. The Dodgers got him from the Twins for starting pitcher Kenta Maeda. L.A. also moved outfielder Jock Peterson to the Angels for infielder Luis Rengifo. Timmy. This deal was kind of out there for a while. Are you shocked, though, that the time has come no. for him to go to the Dodgers with I, David Price? I guess yes. I want to say no because of the new economic world that we live in. But still, when you see a former MVP and a Cy Young Award winner go from the Boston Red Sox, one of the richest franchises in all of baseball, it's still a little shocking, even though you know exactly why they're doing it. And after the initial shock of last night, there were some quality baseball people making solid points about why this deal was met, made, and most people met those points with an Anya. From the, fan, from the fan base. They didn't want to yeah. hear anything. Red, about, Sox, Red Sox Nation doesn't care. About how they got two talented young players in return they got a lot of cap flexibility and will save, like, what, $100 million when all is said and done? You might, if you wanted to go into Mookie Betts' free agent deal, talk about $500 million. He's not, he's not, he's not getting $500 million. No, I'm saying what you would save from the luxury tax to a $400 right. million dollar deal. If you don't move the other contracts on your books, Chris Sale, Ivaldi, J.D. Martinez, yes, you right. are correct. That is the penalty the Red Sox. Bingo are has been and called. And by the way, also, if you're if you're over the luxury tax 5 to 10%, you're also looking at a first-round draft pick. Right. This is not just a money play for the Red Sox. Tim, with that said, you're right. There's a lot of ways you can go about this and rationalize it for the Red Sox because they've offered him 250 They've offered bets three hundred million. He was going contract. to free agency. He was going to free agency. So you got something back. My issue is Andrew Friedman in in Los Angeles, who used to work for the the uh, Tampa Bay Rays, and Hyam Bloom, who used to work for Andrew Friedman for the Tampa Bay Rays, who's now running the Red Sox. Mm-hmm. Andrew Friedman fleeced his guy. I think he got fleeced here. The Red Sox are paying down half this deal. Some of the top prospects in the game are still in the Dodgers system. After this move, they were never giving up Gavin Lux. I know you kept bringing that up. That but if the Red Sox pay, if the Red Sox pay eighty percent of it, you could. If the Red Sox paid a certain amount of David Price, you could. But I'm just saying, on the surface, the Dodgers fleece the Red Sox. Here. How many? It's not te- even. Close. Let me ask you a question. How many teams were legit, legit trading candidates for Mookie Betts and David Price? The Padres and the Dodgers. So one. Right. The Padres were never real. They're like, a 70 win team. They're going to get Mookie Betts. Get out of here. And they're going to get Mookie Betts and take on all of that salary? Like, that was, that was the part of this that I kept preaching from the time we heard that Mookie Betts. And when did that start? Last summer? The entire offseason. Speculate, like, August on, honestly. You're right. August on. During the you year. You heard the Mookie Betts. Stuff. We were talking about yes. Mookie Betts. And the one thing that I kept saying about this new baseball world is, and the same thing happens when you're talking about $400 million, there's only a few teams that can pull these sort of things off or want to pull these sort of things off. And that's where the Boston Red Sox were left here. I don't, I don't disagree with you. If you're a, a Red Sox fan, you wanted more back. But I don't know... I feel like it was being underplayed what they got back, and half of that is the $40 million they'll be able to spend on other players outside of Mookie Betts. Yeah, it won't be this offseason, obviously. It'll be in a year. In a year. No, but the Red Sox did what the Dodgers have done the last two or three years just to get to this point where they can take on this money. This is what you do. Right. Matt Kemp, all these guys that they sent out, they had so much dead money. The Dodgers, they were beautiful because they kept winning as they did it. Right. Two World Series the last three years. But And the Red Sox are trying to put themselves in that spot. Listen, I agree with trading bets completely if he's not going to sign with you. That's a big boy move. Yeah. And the Red Sox are not afraid of big boy moves if they feel a mistake has been made. But 
I think one of those prospects should have been making their way to Fenway. And Hyam Bloom, the new guy, I don't think he did a great job here. Trading bets I agree with, you need one of you you need a Gavin Lux or a Dustin May coming the other way. I'm sorry. Verdugo's nice, but you need one of those other studs. That that's my only beef with it. Two, that's my only beef. Two quick points I want to make. In the summer I told you about the Red Sox struggles to replace Dave Dombrowski and how they had won two World Series and dumped both GMs responsible, Ben Sherrington and Dave Dombrowski. And that there weren't a lot of people that wanted to walk into this situation right. because they knew what was about to happen. Right? Like they they it wasn't like they just went out there and got the best man available for the job. Correct. They had to look long and hard. And the Dodgers were pissed. The Dodgers were pissed at the Houston Astros, and they are coming strong. And that outfield looks pretty ridiculous.